Hey guys and welcome to Saturday's card reading video. Now currently we have the moon in the last degrees of Virgo. Thank God. Like oh my god Virgo. It's just like Virgo seasons. Very like critical, very self-critical, critical of others because Virgo represents our digestive system. So it's like picking out what's good and what's not but sometimes it can be like overly critical and overly like laser pinpoint precision on what's not working and um yeah so by tomorrow the moon will be in libra so things will be a li little bit more balanced and a little bit more lighter feeling now um we've also just had venus and mercury meet uranus now a lot of us have felt yeah, very supercharged um, because it's in Taurus. It can bring up our values, where we're not being valued, where we're not valuing ourselves and how we need to upgrade, how we need to change this, how we need to, you know, either walk away or leave or um, rejuvenate our relationships or our relationships with our work, our passions, our friendships, our family, whatever it is, like um, we're really kind of understanding where we're undervaluing ourselves and what's really most important. And it's very like psychological, it's very in the mind. Like I've noticed the last 24 hours, probably longer, that I've been over and over and over and over and over in my mind more than ever before of the things that I'm very upset for accepting, you know, like things that I'm accepting less than my worth, you know, so, and because, you know, Uranus is the higher octave of Mercury, we can really feel that, you know, like churning over and over and over that mental you know, that mental aspect, especially with the moon in Virgo as well, it's very like, oh my God, like very mental processing and it can be too much. Like for me personally, I just feel like I want to run away. Like I just want to <laughs> just run and never come back. <laughs> But anyway, anyway, um, I'll get into um, get some cards for today. Now I'm using the Radical Rebels deck because we do have um, a lot of Uranus stuff going on. And Uranus is about breaking free. It's about change. It's about, you know, yeah, radical change, breaking the mold, enlightenment. And I feel like, you know, a lot of us are going to have a lot of enlightenment in it like a lot of breakthroughs and getting away and breaking out of imprisonment um, especially by Monday like and if you're feeling like there's a lot of things that you want to say or you know like things you're not happy with things that you've really noticed that are really grinding on you or they're not that like it's not a value to you or it's not valuing your worth I do suggest you kind of hold back like at least till Monday like we do have the full moon in Scorpio coming up and that's very intense like all Scorpio full moons are very intense I'm sure we're all kind of feeling it in some way or another right now but I do suggest that um yeah if there's anything that you're needing to say especially if it's got if you're angry like don't say it just just wait for the dust to settle and then you know maybe say how you feel on Monday or Tuesday or even after the full moon so yes yeah, so I'll get a card for today so yeah I hope you guys are um oh, going all right okay so we have defend to the end uh, the worthwhile so I would say, yeah, especially with everything that's going on, it's like if you really want something, if it's really worth it, you know, defend it to the end. You know, like with all the things that are going on, like we can have a lot of issues come up that make us feel, is it really worth it? Is it really what I want? We really also need to understand that this is a really heightened time and we can also feel like, there's just this need with Uranus to break free. It's always, it's always about just wanting to break free, to change. And then sometimes after, yeah, like I said before, after the dust settles, you realize, well, I really do want that thing, but I just want it to be modified, you know? So if there's something that you really want defended to the end, and especially mentally, especially when it comes to manifesting and, you know, what you're believing, because 
it's really all about that. Look, we can sit there till the cows come home and complain about our 3D reality, but it's really all what we've created, you know, our past creations. And I got this card last night and it really was really helpful. It was about just still having faith, but then just giving it over to the universe because there's just some things that you can't do. You know, some things that you need help with and sometimes you just keep your faith and just let it go and just throw it to the universe and the universe will do its job. And that's definitely how I feel at the moment. Now, I did get, oh yeah, I did get another set of cards. <laughs> I think I prefer doing more than one card. I don't know why. It just, I don't know. I'm someone who likes a lot of information. I have a lot of planets in Gemini, so it's like the more information, the better. So then I can just, actually, I never really decide. I just always have too much information. <laughs> now, these are the these are Love Whispers Tarot. Oh, two cards. All righty. When it comes to matters of the heart today, oh, it says, express love through gifts. A small token of love can convey a, can convey great appreciation. So small tokens of love so that can be anything and we have look to your inner strength you are stronger than you realize now i've definitely felt this the last 24 hours like yeah like i felt like such a victim to my mind it's like alicia come on you're stronger than this you know you've been through worse than this <laughs> it's just your mind <laughs> But um, yeah, so if there is someone that you love, um, there is someone that you care about and, you know, with all the energy that's going on and you're feeling me really mental and really wide and you just want to break free and you just want to get angry and you just want to, you know, change the circumstances, you know, maybe it's just a good time just to not talk about things right now and just give a, you know, a gesture of love. Whether that's a banana, whether it's a gift, whether it's saying something nice, whatever it is, just, you know, for the people that you do love, just make sure that you do that. And yes, and just realize that you are stronger than you realize. Anywho, I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you on Monday.